Hey guys, it's Roxanne, the spooky cat lady of Dark Ones Occult Art again. And today, I drew this terrible looking monster in my sketchbook and decided it was good enough to try and experiment with my Touch 5 markers and see what I could do with it. Just kind of a practice. And you might be wondering, why are you using touch five markers when you've got Copics. Um, well, one, because I have the touch five markers and I'd like to use them up and get rid of them. And two, because this is not marker paper. It's just a mixed media sketchbook paper and that would suck the ink out of the Copics. So if the ink's going to get sucked out, I prefer the Touch 5 ink to get sucked out, not the Copic marker ink, because it's a lot more expensive and I'm pretty cheap. So <laughs> uh, I reserve the Copics for just Copic marker paper only. And there's the monster. Right now I'm trying to see if using the gray tones underneath the actual color will help um, give it more three-dimensional look uh, faster. Kind of works. Works better with the Copics than with the Touch 5 um, and especially not on this paper because it's, like I said it sucks the ink in and it doesn't blend very good on this paper first green marker I picked um, the ink was running out I didn't it was pretty dry I didn't think it was gonna make it through the whole picture so I ended up switching and unfortunately I picked a color that was quite different from the first color and I was like oh crap <laughs> but in the end I, I think it all worked out Yeah, I'm just being quiet right now, <clears throat> watching as I fill in all the green. Mm. Let's see, this drawing I did, I basically, it's not a great drawing. I pretty much forced myself to draw it in a time when I absolute, absolutely did not feel like drawing. I'm like, it's an hour before bed, I haven't felt like doing anything all day. I'm gonna force myself to draw something and so I just started with a circle and then drew a whole bunch more circles and decided those circles were eyes and kept on going and I ended up with this monster he's a simple drawing but hey maybe we can take this simple drawing and make it less simple make it cool we'll see and I use both Touch 5 markers and I also use my Prisma colors eventually. I use the Touch 5 basically just to get it colored in fast. And then I use the Prisma color to add in the detail and to try to make it look more three dimensional. Sadly, a lot of my Touch 5 markers are drying out. They, I have experimented because they said you can just dip them in alcohol and they'll start working again. I didn't bother to do that today, but I have tried it once and it did temporarily make it work again. I don't know how many times you can, you can get away with doing that, but I will try it at some point. My husband's playing newer, newer, near. Not sure how to say it right. A uh, video game. You might hear it in the background. Of I will of course cover it up with music. My kitties are here too. One of them has decided she wants out. Wow, on the video, that leg colored a different color really shows up. In real life, it doesn't show up that much. 
especially once I put everything else on it. But on here, it's like, boom, that looks a different color. <laughs> oh, baby. You sneezing? So, she, I'm on the cat bed. The cats sleep here all day. I guess they don't like me being on their bed. <laughs> At least, she doesn't. Yeah, anytime I'm not being productive, I force myself. There's a drawing underneath this drawing was another drawing I just forced myself to do. And it's kind of cute. So I'll probably make a video out of it next. A practice video. Learning to use these things before I ruin the real art pieces. I think in the end though this monster came out decent. I'm sure there's artists out there who will watch this and they'll be like, oh, if you have just done this, it would have been so much better. Well, I'm not there yet. Maybe someday. I did like how the tentacles came out. They looked pretty roundish, three-dimensional, but the body itself still looked flat. I just didn't know where to put the shadows to make it feel rounder. And it could just be the way I drew the body in the first place that made it so I couldn't make it look rounder. The eyes come out pretty good. They look like they're popping out, but the body part just appears flat to me. And that was the most disappointing part of it, but not so bad though. I would say my weakness is color choice. Picking the right colors to get the effect that I want. I always seem to pick the wrong color. On this guy, I just kind of decided I didn't care. I was just gonna pick random colors and see what happened. So maybe next time when I actually need to pick the right colors, I'll have a better idea of what colors to pick. Wow, my hair's a mess. <laughs> it's morning. I just woke up a little while ago, started on this right after breakfast. So yeah, I do look like I just tumbled out of bed. Because <laughs> I technically did. anything else I want to say about this. I'm thinking about, since I've been writing again, possibly reading stories that I've written over top of these speed paints. I think I've mentioned it before in another video, I don't know. It's hard to keep track. But, um, so I might start doing that. We'll see. But I think for the rest of the video, I'm just going to leave with you with some nice music. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.